Despite the Kanban method's most common association with either manufacturing or software development, there are good reasons for Kanban to answer the needs of an academic research project flow. In research work, the process is continuous and flexible, as opposed to a task-oriented fixed waterfall model. Also, you choose whether the flow supports deadlines, and determine the conditions under which an element of work can move to the next step. All of that aligns with Kanban's nature. Let's take a closer look at how a scientific research project might look on a Kanban tool board. With scientific research, you'd usually have one main goal for each project, such as completing a study and presenting the results in a paper. But you will most likely want to divide that goal into sub-steps or milestones, to make things easier to grasp, and to see the process at a glance. For example, it could look like this. And when you think of a different, more efficient way to visualize the flow, you can just change it, mid-process. Each of the work elements will be an individual task card, further divided into to-do lists, when needed. You'd place the tasks in the columns matching their completion stages, and work on the items one by one, moving them towards the right side of the board when they need further processing, or moving them straight to done, when their role is completed. Also, when working on various research studies at once, you can use the Kanban board swim lanes to distinguish each area of ongoing research, and keep an eye on all of your work progress in one, easily accessible place. You can add a due date for each task or milestone, to show by when you're aiming to complete specific stages. Besides the process visualization, a key part of the Kanban method is limiting work in progress. You will minimize confusion by limiting the number of things you can work on at a time. The best WIP limit value is always 1, but you'll be able to see what your specific process lets you get away with. Sticking to WIP limits will help you feel less overwhelmed and pressured. Should it be that you have assistance in your research, you could easily delegate Kanban cards to colleagues. Doing that will not impact the process shape nor the efficiency with which it will inform you of the current state and the next best steps to take. Viewing your project progress as visual cards split into completion stages and categories gives you an at-a-glance idea on how far along you are, which can be reassuring in moments of doubt. But an additional insight you'd get from managing research in Kanban tool will be the metrics gathered during the project. At any time, you can analyze your plan versus done tasks ratio learn how quickly on average you're moving items from plan to done, and see the cumulative flow graph, showing you the tasks that caused significant bottlenecks. With that information, you'll know what kind of help you might need during your next study. Try Kanban tool for an upcoming research project, to see how much more structured and predictable the process can get. Set up a free trial on kanbantool.com today.